to Discover with Miss Natalie. That's me. So this morning I read a story called Tap the Magic Tree. So if you have yet to listen to this story, it's pretty cool. It's really silly. You get to do some pretty fun things. So if you haven't seen this video yet, go ahead and pause this one. Go watch the story tell that I did this morning. And then you can come on back and do this really fun activity that we have to go along with this book. Um, so this book is all about what you see outdoors through all the seasons as far as what happens to a tree during the winter, during summer months, during the spring and the fall. So what we're going to talk about this afternoon is all about our five senses. Does anyone know what are the five senses? You know a few? Well, that's good. So we're going to go ahead and talk about all of them today. So what we're going to make is our very own five senses book. So the materials that you're going to need to create your book is two different colored pieces of paper. If you don't have any color, that's okay. You can always just use white, no big deal. Um, and then if you want to write it, feel free, or you can ask your mom and dad, aunt, uncle, brother, sister, someone to help you write my five senses book. On This will be your front cover. And then if you want, you can also write your name down at the bottom so everyone knows that this is your five senses book. What else you will need are the pages that you can download. Again, ask someone to help you download and print these out for you, but these will be the inserts into your book. So we have one for C, which is your first sense that we're gonna talk about today. You'll also have one for here, which is where you use your ears to help you listen to the sounds around you. So that'll be the second sense that we talk about today. The next one is smell which is your nose. So you use your nose to smell different scents around you. That's the third sense that we will talk about today. The next one is feel. So this is touching. This is using your hands, your feet, any part of your body that touches something else and what that feels like. So that'll be the next sense that we talk about. And then the final one is taste, which is your mouth, mainly your tongue which uses all of its taste buds in there to taste different things. So we'll also talk about this sense, which is taste. So these are all the inserts that are gonna go inside your book. The other thing that you will need is a stapler. And you'll also need any writing utensil. So I'm gonna use markers today, but you can use colored pencils, crayons, um, Paint may not be the best idea just because you are going to create a book and otherwise if you want you can always use paint and have to wait for it to dry but I would say crayons, markers, or colored pencils would be the easiest thing for you to use when you're creating your book today. So what you're going to want to do and again if you need help go ahead and ask someone to help you. I'm sure they would love to help you create your book but what you're going to do is take both of your colored or your front and the back of the book if you don't have colored and you're going to put all of your inserts so all the ones that have the senses in between them you're going to make like a sandwich okay so you're going to put them all together just like this so that you can make your very own book okay once you have that all ready to go go ahead and grab that stapler that you have if you need help, again, ask someone to help you, and you're going to put three staples along the binding of your book. A binding is the area where all of the pages come together and gets held together nice and tight so they don't fall out when you try to read your story, okay? So you're going to take your stapler, and you're going to put at least three, one at the very top, one in the middle and one at the very bottom. So let's go ahead and I'm going to do that to my book and you can go ahead and do it to yours. And try to make it go as close to the edge that you can. Like that. But not too far in either because we want to make sure that we have a lot of room inside our book to put our pictures and our words. And one more. Perfect. Just like that. So now all my pages are nice and tight. They don't fall out. 
and then you can keep this story for a really long time. So once you have all of that together, what you're going to want to do is go on a nature walk. Okay, so maybe you've done this at school with some of your teachers, or maybe you've done it with a family member. But what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go outside. So make sure you have someone with you, okay? Ask permission first. The best place to go is into to your yard, maybe your front yard, your backyard, or if you wanna take a walk around your neighborhood, you could do that. Or if you wanna go, if you live in an apartment, you can go into the apartment complex and see what you see around there. Just make sure that you have permission from your mom, dad, aunt, uncle, grandma, grandpa. Bring one of them along with you so that you're nice and safe and make sure that you keep your distance from anyone that you see out there, okay? So let's go ahead and I'm gonna go outside to my yard and see what I can see as well as hear and feel um, the taste and the smell might be a little hard, but I want you to try very hard to think about those things or when we go out there, I'll talk a little bit more about what you potentially could taste if you were in a different area. So if you're ready, let's go on outside. Hi everyone. So I am outside. I'm just in my yard, as you can see. Um, and we're just gonna walk around and kind of see what I see, what I smell, what I hear. I do have my five senses book with me. Um, it may be hard to bring out your writing utensils with you, so go ahead and if you have them, you can just put them down or leave them indoors. Um, but I want you to bring your book with you so that you can kind of look through and remember what those five senses are that we talked about earlier, right? So we have see, which you use your eyes, and you can look around and see what you can see in your yard or in your neighborhood. Hear, so use your ears. Listen to what can you hear. So do you hear any sounds or is it really quiet near you? Next one is smell. So use that nose. Breathe in real deep and see what you can smell, right? Because maybe you might start smelling some flowers if you're near a garden and your flowers are popping up. Next one is feel. So when you're walking around, make sure that you go to trees, to grass, to flowers, to whatever you see around you and really start feeling what does it feel like? What kind of texture? Is it hard? Is it soft? Is it smooth? And then last one is taste and taste might be a little hard, right? Because we are outside. But what I want you to think about is what kinds of things do you know that other animals might taste, right? So we eat food that we get from grocery stores. But animals, they have to find things out in nature that they can eat. And what kinds of things might they eat? What do you think they might taste like? So that's what I want you to think about. So I'm just walking around my yard. And so let me show you kind of the things that I'm seeing, okay? So I see some trees. I see grass. I'm looking up into the trees. Do I see any leaves yet? Not really, but I do see a little bud starting to I'm hearing so I am hearing a lawnmower in the distance I hear some wind also kind of rustling the branches you can kind of see it moving and then let's go over and try to see a tree and what does that feel like so I'm gonna come over to this tree right here and I'm just gonna feel it so it feels really hard and scratchy that's what this tree feels like and if you see a piece of bark, right? So this bark feels really scratchy and hard and pretty tough, okay? So what's, what I want you to do, I want you to go around wherever you can, okay? Make sure you're with your mom, dad, aunt, uncle, grandma, grandpa. Bring maybe an older brother or sister with you too and just start looking in nature. What do you see, smell, hear, feel? And then again, taste. What do you think animals are gonna eat when they're out here? Some animals might like to eat the grass. Some animals might find berries growing on a berry bush. Or some animals might even eat some other little animals. So that's what I want you to think about, okay? So when you're out here, bring your book with you. Look around, walk in your, wherever you can, and just start thinking about those senses and what do you see, okay? And then when you're all done, I want you to keep them in your brain. Think about what you saw, heard, smelt, felt okay and then when you go back inside you're gonna write it all down in your book and I'm gonna help you do that 
So have fun exploring out in nature and I will see you in a little bit. Bye. Welcome back. So we are back inside. Um, outside with a little cold today, which is why I had my coat on. So hopefully when you go on your nature walk, it'll be a little warmer for you. So I want to go ahead and start putting all of those five senses into your five senses book. So we're going to do this together. So we're going to start with the very first one, which is C. Okay. If your first page isn't C, that's okay. Just go ahead and flip through your book and find the page that says C and has the I on it. So again, I want you to think about what did you see on your nature walk? And what we're going to do is we're going to draw a picture of what we saw. And then we're also going to write a little story about what we saw. And if you need help writing, find that grandma, grandpa, aunt, uncle, mom, dad, brother, sister to help you. Or if you want to practice your writing, go ahead and practice writing all of your words, sounding them out. Okay. So grab whatever utensils that you chose to use and we're going to go ahead and draw what we saw. So I was outside in my yard and I saw trees growing. Okay. And a few little leaves on them, not very much. And there are more just little flower buds, but that's what I'm going to draw. You don't need to draw a tree. You can draw whatever you saw outside. So if you saw a flower garden, draw a flower garden. If you saw a garbage truck coming by, draw a garbage truck. All right. So let's go ahead and draw what we saw. Okay, so I went ahead and drew this tree. That's what I saw in my yard. It was a tree with small little flower buds just starting to show up, okay? I hope you drew something super cool too that you saw outside on your nature walk. So once you've drawn your picture, what you wanna do is you wanna say a little bit about that picture, okay? And it can be anything you want. It can be a long explanation. It can be just one sentence. It could just be some words that you thought about when you saw whatever you drew. So again, grab whatever utensil that you have. If you need help writing out your sentences and your words, find someone to help you do that. Or if you want to practice yourself, go ahead and practice yourself writing out those words and those sentences. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put on my tree. I said on my walk I saw a tree the tree was tall and had small pink flower buds beginning to grow. There we go. So that is my first page done. I have my picture of what I saw and then my little story about my picture. So we're going to keep doing this through the entirety of the book. So go ahead and go to your next page. Draw out your picture for the sense that is on the very top and then your little story underneath. And then we come back, I'll go ahead and read you my book. And then what you can do later is if you want to share your book, you can share your book with some of your friends and family. So I'll see you in a little bit once I'm done with my story.
finished my five senses book and I would love to share it with you. So let's go ahead and see what I drew in my story. So my five senses book by Miss Natalie. And write my name, but you can write your name. First one, C. I remember I drew a tree and my story says, on my walk, I saw a tree. The tree was tall and had small pink flower buds beginning to grow. Next is here. So I drew a lawnmower because I heard a lawnmower cutting some grass. So I said, I heard a lawnmower. It sounded like a car engine because when lawnmowers run, they kind of sound like a car engine a little bit because obviously a lawnmower also uses an engine so that it can work. Next one is smell. So I drew wind and I said, I smelled fresh air. It smelled like a fresh cotton candle. So if you've ever smelled a candle that smells like fresh cotton, that's what I thought the wind smelled like today. Next is feel. So this is the tree branch that I felt. I felt a tree branch. It was hard and scratchy. I did not like the texture of the tree. I wasn't a huge fan of how the tree felt because it was very scratchy and just rough and hard under my hand and it didn't feel very nice to touch it. And my last one was taste. Now remember I said it would be very hard for us to kind of taste anything when we're outside because we are out in nature, but I drew an animal and I drew what the animal likes to eat. So I drew a picture of a squirrel and I drew some acorns because I know that ac squirrels like to eat acorns. So I wrote, I drew a squirrel. Squirrels like to eat acorns. I think an acorn tastes like a peanut. I don't know. I've never eaten an acorn, but I just think that it might taste just like a peanut because it is a type of nut that the squirrels like to eat. So I can't wait to see what kinds of things that you saw, heard, felt, um, smelled when you were out on your nature walks. So if you would like to share your book, go ahead and maybe read your story and then you can post it down below in the comments, have one of your parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles help you, and they can help put that down there for everyone to also read your story. So I can't wait to see everyone again real soon. Come on back next time and we'll do another really fun activity. Otherwise, I hope you're having a great rest of your afternoon and I will see you soon.